I'm Jason Michael Perry, author of Breadcrumbs ActionScript 3.0 for Smart Amoeba, and I'm here to talk about uh, Google Maps integration with Flash CS5. Um, if you're not familiar with Google Maps, which I imagine pretty much everyone is, Google Maps is, well, pretty much the most awesome way of finding any location that you can imagine. Um, it provides everything from geocoding to convert a regular address into latitude and longitude, or to just give you a visual output of different locations, even direction-based APIs that allow you to get biking maps, uh, public transportation maps, and anything you need based on whatever is available for your city. Now, first of all, before you do anything here, you must go to uh, the Google Maps API website. And if you go to smartamoeba.com and look at the uh, bottom of the page, you see that there's a link to take you there. Um, once you're there, you need to download the SDK. Uh, the SDA, SDK comes uh, with two different versions, one version specifically for Flex and the other version for Flash. Um, we are, of course, using Flash CS5 as our development environment, so that's the one we're going to work with currently. Now, if I create a new ActionScript 3.0 file, first things first, you notice that my components do not currently display the Google Maps uh, um, component library. Um, to do this, we need to actually go through and add it into the components library of our um, Flash CS5 application. So here I have a folder, Flash Google Maps, and inside of it is the SDK directory. Inside of there we have lib. Now these are two libraries, and um, the first library is map um, version 1.2, which is a SWIC file, a compound, um, compiled set of components. I'm going to take that package and I'm going to add that to my components library in Flash. The second one here, um, with the flex extension added to it, underscore flex, is the one you'd use if we're actually doing this integration using the flex uh, um, development environment. So I went ahead and copied that. I'm going to jump over to my applications path and find a Flash CS5, which is installed right here. If I go to Common, I'll see that there's a configuration folder. Now, this would be pretty much the same thing if you're working on a, a Windows machine versus a Mac. The directory structure is exactly the same. You just want to go into Program Files and find your Flash CS5 installation. And once again, Common, Configuration. And you'll find that there's a Components directory listed here. In the components directory, I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder. Now I'll name that new folder Google. And inside of that Google folder, I'm going to paste in my SWIC file. And after a second, we'll see it's there. Now that I've successfully done that, I'm going to jump over to Flash CS5. And if we look at our components panel, it has not yet uh, noticed the change. It doesn't detect automatically that a new component has been dropped into the folder. Um, we have one of two choices. We can either restart Flash CS5, and when you restart it, um, it will automatically see that that component is actually there. The other option is to use the little options menu here, and you see that we have the button that says Reload Components. As soon as it does that, you'll see that it reloads the component library, and it automatically detects the Google Maps library and adds it into our components folder here. Okay. Now this is an essential piece to it. Without adding the Google Maps library instance to your stage, it's impossible for you to take advantage of any of the Google Maps functionality. However, as you see in a second, when I drag and drop this over here to the stage, it's invisible. We get a bounding box, but this is actually an invisible component. The component has absolutely no view whatsoever. All adding the component to the stage will do for you is ensure that certain libraries and certain assets are automatically included whenever you compile our Flash application. Right. Now this is a requirement. You must always do this if you're going to use the, uh, the Google API that's provided for us. You must include the library. But just keep in mind that it's an invisible element and nothing else happens from there. Cool beans?